there's a three W's G zip. Uh, uh, sorry, three W's mechanized G zip uh, module that makes three W's mechanized not give you the trash. <coughs> unzips the, the content for you and uh, I just pass it an instance and now you have your package plugin 3 w's mechanized working working for you again and then I have uh, another problem with proxies and uh, found a couple of uh, things in Perlmonts about overriding things uh, of global variables and they want to found this solution. If you want to go through a proxy, just declare a proxy parameter, and if it's defined called the MEC proxy, tell it the protocols you want to proxy, and give it the proxy you want to go through. Then on CPAN, you have Nakios plugin SNMP. Again, the same concept. Nakios plugin. SNMP. You just create an instance. I, I haven't had this. Uh, I haven't used this model uh, for, for completeness. Wanted to tell you that it's here. Uh, it does a lot for you. It sets up arguments like warning, critical host name. Uh, the, SM, the SNMP local IP, the SNMP version, a timeout, a debug. So if you want to go the, to, to read SNMP values, it already sets up everything you needed to, to, to ask the user about the, what, what's the username of SNMP, what's the password, what's the protocol we want to use. Etc. Etc. I mean, Nakios plugin in SNMP does it for you. So you just have to read the, the warning from NP uh, opts warning. And it does another thing that, uh, that's quite useful. That's do the deltas between uh, counters. Because uh, there are lots of counters in SNMP that just increase. So uh, the number of bytes transmitted on an interface is just going up. And then uh, for, uh, when you're trying to monitor uh, how can you establish a threshold, you, want, uh, you really can say a warning when you've uh, transmitted 10,000 bytes. You want to see the rate at what it, uh, that it's incrementing. So, uh, Nakios plugin SNMP does the delta for you, and you can specify the the way it does the delta for you. If you think that that the method uh, that it uses isn't correct, you can override the method. Okay, and I wanted to talk about the module that's in the works. Okay, Nakios plugin differences. Uh, the thing is that the continuously growing counters are only seen in SNMP. Uh, they're seen in lots of uh, places. The number of requests and Apache has served. Uh, if you go to Procstat, you'll see the number of processes the kernel has created. If you go to proc uh, disks, blah blah blah, you'll see the number of blocks uh, uh, partition has been has read or written. So uh, there are lots of counters like that, and uh, it's a shame that only the Nakios plugin uh, SNMP module does the differences for you. So that can be extracted, and it's basically module that I want to publish, half done, want some input from you uh, to, to see how, we, how you would like uh, to establish the thresholds or what you would want the plugin to do for you. The problematics about the continuously incrementing counters are that 
sometimes we don't know the RAM value. Which, uh, the, the counters, as uh, everything in, with computers, are limited. So you have a 32-bit counter. One day, it'll, it'll go from 2 billion to zero. And that's it, the, the computer was on all the time. But what, what happens when you reboot a computer? It was that 5,000? I generated 5,000 processes, and I go to zero. So uh, sometimes you don't know when the counter wraps. And you just have to assume that between two between, between two readings, you have to lose what happened after. But sometimes you can assume that the counter has wrapped. So uh, those are some of the problems um, I'm facing, and want to comment with you how you would like them solved. Because after all, you are potential users of the of the model. So, basically that. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, so Obsview, what does it do? Okay, Obsview is a... Uh, or, or why should we use it? Why should you use it? Because uh, you're using Napios and you, if you're maintaining the configuration files by hand, uh, you're probably tired of it. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> Fox View is a web, day, a, a web application that will let you configure Napios in the same way and also adds support for distributing Napios in, in an easy manner. So you just tell it, oh, I'll have these slave servers, it will push Napios to them, it will configure Napios so that the slave servers do the active checks and send the checks back passively to the Napios that it's configured to receive the path, the passive checks from. It will do it via SSH tunnels, so the because the the, the protocol for sending passive checks is unsecure, so it does it through through tunnels. So it's uh, lots of good practices go into OpsView. To help you, uh, to help you have a monitor with Napios in a scalable manner. So you can handle stuff like uh, dependencies between machines, like yeah. the router by project. Uh, and it uh, has those features. You use use them the groups, stuff like that. Uh, I think that the groups, the, the the users, it does handle the groups. Uh, I think not. User groups. Uh, but you can download the virtual machine from and try it out. Uh, or app get install helps you if you configure the, the repositories and you have it in five minutes. So it, uh, it does other tricks too. It, uh, it will automatically pick up the performance data and start graphing everything. You have a nice Ajax interface to zoom on the graphs and Provision with backup from another source, like we have a central database of machine services customers, they push that into Obsview so you don't have to manage every machine. It has an API to uh, you, you can see it in the documentation. Okay. So about the code, so about the SNMP module. Uh, what Oh, that you can handle the you, you can handle the counters. You, you you can plug in what what you want. So it's maybe maybe for some texts it won't be that uh, much more flexible. Maybe you want to get a couple of OIDs, compare them, mess around, then calculate the state and now put something uh, that's significant to you. Yeah. More questions? Okay, so that's it.